Stocks are up, yet fundamentals are worse than the Great Depression. And the circus continues. The Fed bought the open with both hands and feet. It is all rigged. These markets are a front-running operation, run by AI algorithms. Rome is burning, that's good for 100 points on the S&P. This is the sickest day I have seen in this Ponzi fraud ever. Every major city in America is being set on fire and looted. 40 million unemployed. And they just keep pumping this Ponzi scheme in everyone's face. Further proof of how disconnected the stock market is from reality. As Americans get out of bed this morning, they are not going to give one damn about the market. They're going to find out that their nation has literally burned to the ground. The financial sector, Wall Street, is completely disconnected from the real economy. People riot in the streets, millions of middle-class people in the US lost their job and income, but the stock market skyrockets. 2020 is 1984 on steroids. The true looters are in the Federal Reserve, Wall Street, and the military-industrial complex. Their minions are the ones dressed in black and breaking windows, throwing firebombs, and inciting protesters to riot. They tried that at our protest yesterday, and nobody took the bait. There were end the Fed signs mixed in with justice for George Floyd's signs. People know who the real thugs are, and they wear suits and uniforms. Now you understand that the short downturn on Wall Street was simply all part of the plan, and the rich get richer. Markets no longer trade on fundamentals. It's just an algo-fueled shitshow. It's all a rigged scam, so that the 1% can continue to rake in more loot, taxpayers' money and fabricated currency. Markets ceased reflecting the health of the economy and reality in general decades ago, it's just too obvious to deny now. Riots, burning, protester out pillaging, White House lockdown, no goods available for the stock take sales, waits of over 40 days for anything needed urgently. Stupid is as stupid does. And the stocks always go up and up. Nothing matters anymore in a banana communist republic. Our wealth will continue to be inflated away, our jobs and manufacturing destroyed, our cities burning, church gatherings outlawed, as we take our place amongst the global peasantry of the new world order. The Fed is buying spree is tapering. The Fed is now buying corporate bonds and equities. Every Monday, the Fed needs a good kick at the can get things going, even better during a pandemic and brooding civil war. Spoof the futures and pump and dump into Robin Hood retail all day long. Don't stop it till it stops. The only thing that will stop stocks from going up is if the Federal Reserve was ever fully audited. But it's never going to happen. They all know the books are cooked. They also know an audit will absolutely crush the dollar instantly, and they will lose everything to mass violence. Welcome to 2020, everything is bullish. I can only imagine when unemployment hits 30%, and the US military takes over major cities and installs FEMA camps. The Dow would hit 40k. As long as central banks, print funny money notes, and keep stonks on the level, decided by the central committee, you can have them at 60k, for a while. Soon the defaults on all the business loans, and that should be good for another 10,000 pop on Dow. How can markets set themselves up for new record highs, when hundreds of millions around the earth have been sacked or furloughed, and are likely to become long-term unemployment statistics? Who controls the markets? Who stands to gain the most from this nonsense? The small guy. Or the banking cabal? There is your answer. The small guy will get crushed, and the 1% protected by this group will gain. The degree to which soaring markets are diverging from the real economic virus damage, and now the rising rage, has become embarrassingly obscene. The players in the market know that the worse things get, the faster we arrive at negative rates. As Wall Street laughs at it all and reminds the plebs, the Fed is your daddy. They needed a pandemic with lockdowns, closures, along with massive unemployment and riots. Money changers, along with Fauci, are wringing their hands and smirking with glee in their eyes. All done by design, all done by agenda. It is all a show, everything is fine. The underlining strength in the economy is their all hail the all and mighty Fed. And, I thought the worst looting was being done by DIMS, Antifa, and the 99-100 THS rioters. Seize, audit, and end the real thieves. The Fed. End the Fed. Drain the swamp. Enforce the constitution. And remove all dual citizens from the government. Sound money forces the government to live within its means. Eliminate all fiat currencies, for starters. That should be easy. America had the example of Japan right in front of it. But the magic show had to be saved at all costs. For those who think QE will keep asset prices going up indefinitely, look at how QE has tapered. Bubbles are like balloons. They need constant hot air to stay inflated. QE has become an inescapable trap. QE was an inescapable trap from the beginning. If circumstances are such that to not do QE is just too painful, yet QE will never allow that pain to lessen, you are in the trap. The only way out is through the pain. The worst part is, the pain is going to happen regardless, it will just be worse if it comes involuntarily. 
here comes the pain. Greed, hubris, and ignorance have brought the empire to where it is today. The free lunch is over, and the rest of the world sees through the lies. The whole world is laughing at us going along with the globalism scam and our leaders selling bazillion and trillion dollars worth science, wealth, and jobs to China to enrich themselves and us becoming slaves to China. Treason like this never happened in history. And as the anarchists go head to head with the law and order crowd, the 1% kicks back and enjoys the show. Thus was it ever. Thus shall it always be. Get out of the market now. This is a big fraud by the banksters. The market has reached its maximum stupid price limit. Room for more suckers and bag holders at the top. The markets are all rigged, no need to report on them. Smart people walked away, crazy people try to guess the next move, and insiders know the next move. The wonder is, how bad does it get before the kingpins decide this is not good? The gambling addicts, playing in the Wall Street casino, will get wiped out. A casino owned by the bank cartel. The house always wins. I believe there will be a 4-6 to six month window where the markets will implode and reset the levels for a new beginning. Unfortunately, most people will be wiped out again, as they just can't resist. The market will go down, and it will remain down for quite a while, and the average investor will eventually sell at the bottom like they always do, and that is how wealth is transferred to those who don't need it to live off. The bankruptcies are going to be far and wide, and everyone is right now riding the fongs, rather than looking at the reality of the rest of the market. With the peak stupidity government with lockdown, peak high stock market with a long queue of bankruptcies, semi-peak chaos on the streets, I am racing against time to accumulate all kind of tangible assets, not only gold, food, rolling 3-6 to six months, and cash buffer enough for 2-3 to three years. Thankfully, I am not in a city. The central banks are buying up to prop up their big corporation and hedge funds friends. The empire of the city is taking down the current currency system that is obvious. The probable plan is to back all current currencies with some new central fiat debt-based currency at a fixed exchange rate, that is, like Bretton Woods architecture, but all locked into their new banker. They don't want to scare the masses with sudden change, but then they have you by the balls as they control the price and volume of the underlying. Simple. And the endgamer end times are approaching. Remember, at one time, $60 billion a month in Fed debt monetization was considered massive. I think they do that and more in a day now, although they are tapering to maybe $5 billion a day right now. I don't keep up on this level on minutia. Well keeping the retirement account solvent is a noble idea, that goal is looking to be an impossible one after the next Wall Street liquidity withdrawal, a K of the next and probably final financial markets crash. This one looks like the big one before the last one. Idiocy like ZIRP and NIRP, combined with entire financial markets that require ZIRP in order to see their deals not fail, foreshadows a few problems ahead that more ZIRP won't fix. Neither will NIRP. The streets will look worse than they do now when this happens. Floyd was the trigger. The communist media, the fake Wuhan flu crisis, the forced house arrests, the impeachment, and the Mueller investigation are Framup and at Jack, the CEO of Twitter telling us, he and his buddies are and always will be the boss of all of us, is the real reason for the riots. Bad and failed MMT, and the end is nigh. MMT is poison. QE, central banking itself, actually, decoupled the financial system from a productive activity, because it systematically rewards cronies at the expense of producers. MMT suffers from the same sin to a greater degree. You cannot cure poisoning by imbibing more poison. Revalue precious metals and other real assets to a price sufficient to back currencies. Let the debt junkies default. Do this, and the modern world will continue. Fail to do it, and you will get 1984 followed rapidly by Mad Max World. With markets this overextended, your window of time to take action will likely be quite brief. An end to the current rally could happen extremely quickly and brutally. Obviously, if you don't have some gold or at least gold stocks in your portfolio, now is the time to buy, make it 5% of your assets as a defensive play to the trillions of fiat that has been printed, which you know for sure, will hurt the buying power of the US dollar. Anyone who buys anything, except lead, silver, or gold, now deserves all he will get. Bankruptcy. The protesters are sick of the Fed, creating inequality. Now the Fed is actively preventing the recovery. In a fair world without the Fed, those who had savings should have been able to buy stocks on the cheap and be rewarded. Instead, those who had the most debt will be bailed, and those who had savings are going to pay for it with higher prices. Another worthless American export to the world, central banking and QE, I don't see a peaceful way out of any of this. My only hope is that the anger is directed at the true perpetrators of corruption, graft, and theft. This isn't a left-right thing. It's a top or bottom thing. I hope all of you stay safe and have a plan. This was everything inside me channel. Please like, share, 
and subscribe. Don't forget click the notification bell too. Stay safe and healthy.